going to go stay the night at my boyfriend's house tonight and I am going to make lasagna in the trailer that he has. And yeah, so I've got everything packed up. I think I've got everything I'm gonna need. I'm not sure, these are our clothes in here too. Um, talk about fancy traveling stuff. I've got, you know, this just looks bad, but underwear, lasagna noodles, <laughs> the same tote. All right, so anyways, we're gonna go. This is gonna be a very interesting dinner experience. And with that said, I thought it'd be fun to do a little bit of a different recipe video. This is going to be kind of a day in the life one. And it starts with me wrestling two pans. My boyfriend took this video clip of me trying to separate these two pans. They are brand new along with pretty much everything else in the house. I figured I'd show you some clips of what was going on while I was cooking dinner. The first thing that I did was throw my, it was actually still frozen, turkey, my ground turkey into the pan. It's an easy way to defrost it. And cutting my onions, and I'm also gonna cut some garlic. Here I've got ricotta along with an egg. And I'm going to saute my onions and my garlic now that my meat is done. And basically I'm just gonna sweat these out, you know, get the onions nice and soft along with the garlic. As you can see here, my turkey is set to the side. As soon as the onions and the garlic are done, you're gonna add your turkey back into your pot. Or you could have done, you know, the onions at the beginning and if your turkey was already, yeah, however you want to do it. And now I'm going to add some fresh spinach. Spinach. You could also use frozen spinach and add it to your ricotta mixture, but I have fresh and I need to melt it down a little bit. If you don't, become a little bit too watery in your lasagna. Your call though. Mix your ricotta and your egg together. And you're also going to add a little bit of mozzarella. I forgot to do it here and did it in just a minute. You can also add some salt and pepper. So this is what it looks like when it's all cooked down a little bit. I'm adding a total of, I believe it's about six ounces, six ounces of spinach. And I'm just adding it in, you know, separate chunks because it, the volume of it is so big before it's cooked down. So again, add a little salt and pepper to your ricotta if you'd like. And you can see, you know, kind of the space that I'm working with. Add some of your tomato sauce to the bottom of your pan and then you're going to lay out some of your lasagna noodles. Of course you're going to want to make your, you know, sauce all nice and smooth. So add the lasagna noodles on top of your sauce. You can use these ones that cook, you know, while it's cooking or you can use pre-made ones. I'm getting played footsie with here. <laughs> and then add your meat mixture on top. As you can see I went back and added my mozzarella cheese. So you're going to give that a good mix so that you have that blended. And if you leave it a little bit chunky, it just creates a really good, you know, kind of almost like a surprise while you're eating the lasagna. After that, I add another layer of the tomato sauce, and honestly, the layers don't really matter. I mean, just get all your stuff in there. You can do lots of layers, or like me, and have, you know, really full, thick, distinguished layers. I just think that's a little bit better. I mean, it mixes together anyways. So I'm going to top it with mozzarella. I feel like that's the most important part. And then I also add in some Romano, some Romano Parmesan cheese. That's, that's one of his dogs. So you're gonna set your oven to 350 degrees and put it in the oven until it looks like this. So the timing, I'm sorry, I can't give you a good time for it. It's probably about 45-ish minutes that it needs to cook, but it'll get nice and bubbly, as you can see here. I was grabbing a paper towel. You can blot off a little bit of the extra oil off the top of it. I do this with this and my pizza. Once it's all cooled off, you saw what we did, it is ready to eat. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. It is delicious and absolutely one of my favorites. Now it's time to burn it off. Oh <laughs> no, we're, we're trying to finish the race. Can you